Let's take a look at how to calculate the median. The median means the middle number when your numbers are ordered from least to greatest. If I take a look at my numbers in this list, 6, 9, 10, 7, and 7, they're not in order. So the first thing I need to do is write them in order. So my smallest number is 6, and I'm going to cross them off as I rewrite them, just to make sure I don't miss anything. My smallest number was 6, then 7, then I have another 7, and then 9, and my largest number is 10. Now once they're in order, from least to greatest, I can figure out which one is the middle number. One way, especially if you have a longer number set than this, to find your way to the middle is to cross out the smallest and the biggest, the next smallest and the next biggest, until you work your way to the center to see that 7 is the middle number or the median of our data. Okay, I have another question about the median. So I'm going to start by putting my numbers in order because I can see 9, 2, 7, 9, 7, they're not in order. So we want to go from least to greatest. My smallest number is 2. And again, I'm just crossing them out to keep track of which ones I already used, which is super helpful if you get into larger sets of numbers. and then a 9, and then one more 9. To work my way to the middle, I can cross out the smallest and the biggest, the next smallest and the next biggest, and 7 is the middle number. Let's take a look at the median for this set of numbers and always start by listing them from least to greatest. So I have two threes, then a six, then an eight, and finally my largest number of nine. If I cross out the smallest, the biggest, the next smallest, the next biggest, I can see that my middle number, or my median, is six. Let's find our median here. So my numbers are not in order. That's going to be my first step, list them from least to greatest, starting with 1, then 7, then 8, 10, and 10 again. Now in this case, since there's only five numbers, you might be able to look at it and see that my middle number would be eight. There's two to the left and two to the right. If you had a lot more numbers, you could cross them out and say, okay, smallest, biggest, second smallest, second biggest, to work your way to that eight. Again, we're looking to find the median so we're going to start by listing our, or, our numbers in order from least to greatest. I have a 1, another 1, a 4, an 8, and a 9. So crossing out my smallest, my biggest, my second smallest, my second biggest, to work my way to the center, or the middle number, to see that my median is 4. Okay, again, we're trying to find the median. So start by listing those numbers. They've always got to be in order. If I just pick the middle number the way they are, it's probably not going to be right. So 
in order, my numbers are 2, 4, 5, 6, and 9. And again, if you want, you can cross them off. I use the 2, the 4, the 5, the 6, and the 9, just to make sure I'm not missing anything. And then I can see my middle number is 5. So my median is 5. Okay, which one is the median? Let's start by listing our numbers in order from least to greatest. So that would be 4, 5, 5, 8, and then 9. Okay, so I can see my middle number here is 5. That's my median.